Yeah, times. we've gone over her for sure. So you want to talk about Nico now? Yeah, man. Nico, you know, listen, I've been, I to shoot the behind the scenes, which kind of sucks because I actually forgot to shoot some more behind the scenes because I was, I got a little too, I drank a few white claws. So I'm hanging out and, um, you look, I'm looking at the relationships. That's what I look at. You know, I'm, I'm an actor. I like to study human behavior. Look, Ian and Danny, they have some nice conversations back and forth. They're talking, they're talking comedy. Ian is they're the talking. guy who's been pinch hitting his cameraman. Yeah, he's been pinch hitting his cameraman. Nico wasn't allowed to leave his house because yeah. of quarantine. Yeah. He lives with his parents. They wouldn't let him out. So look, Ian's got, he's got a little more money. He's, he, has, he has a steady job. He's got some nice lenses. He's watched a lot of weird specials that him and Danny bond over comedy specials comedy specials he understands classic rock he understands the punk rock that Danny likes look I'm not saying that Nico's gone or his job's in jeopardy or anything like that all I'm saying is Ian's a good an asset that has come to fruition for the channel and He's a good guy. He's come to many of my shows. I have a relationship with him too. We uh, we like musical theater. We like we're big movie buffs, which Danny isn't as much. And and it's cool. He has like something in common with both of us, and um, definitely understands our humor. And he even wants to do open mics with me. So what I'm saying is, the guy's a, the guy's cool. Here's the situation. Yeah, this is like if you graduate college, you and your girlfriend are at the same school. You move back to your hometown, and she goes to medical school, mm. and there's a handsome guy in her med school class. Oh, God. He's 6'3". He works out before every... Well, he works out in the morning, because that's the only time he has, but he fucking gets after it in spin class, and his abs are popping. He's got naturally veiny arms. He went to Princeton. He went to Princeton. He's Ian, got a big cock. Ian is that guy. Right. I'm the chick. Yeah. The channel is the chick. Right. And Nico is the kid who's home still after graduating. Yeah. Working in an olive garden as a waiter. Right, right. So this is how the movie begins. And look, I'm not going to tell you that the end isn't going to end with Nico being victorious, but he's got, he's now he has some challenges ahead of him. So Nico's got to make a choice. I, I was thinking about calling him and fake firing him. I don't know. Is that a good idea? Should we fake fire him? You can fake. Up? Here's the thing. I can't fake fire him because I told him about six hours ago yeah. that he's not fired. So talk to talk to us about what he's been kind of saying to you. Is he insecure? Like what's going on with with Nico? He's really insecure about what's going on. Yeah. I told him this weekend. We went out and shot another worst town in America type video. Austin looks so sad over there over his dead cat. I'm trying to Austin, ignore Leo, him. Dude, Leo's in heaven fucking massive amounts of pussy. Literal, literal pussy. I want Austin to put a mask on so I can't see his sad face. Oh, I'm, I didn't sleep but like three hours last night too. So it's I'm really okay. Tired. I'm trying to look like peppy. Cap? Nah, dude. My parents were arguing. That happens, dude. We gotta get back it's on the track. worst. All right. I told Nico... Last weekend or last week before we went and shot our new worst town in America. Hey, right now there's a smudge on your lens. that has been there for a while. All the camera lens cleaning places are closed. Understandably, he couldn't get a drone, which I was trying to get. And then also he doesn't have any UV filters, which made the new Slab City video look so excellent. Mm. And he hasn't shot in 4K for me like Ian has already done on mm. the Slab City video. This video is based on the scenery, the beauty of the desert. I went with the guy whose camera was going to look better. That's, yeah, that's one of his assets. But I told Nico, hey, man, you were out. I needed somebody to sub in. Now I'm just, I was in the groove with him for this video, so I just brought him out a second day. I'm not going to fire you. I'm not going to get rid of you. I don't do that. I told him that earlier. Oh, gotcha. So we can't prank him, unfortunately. I was thinking bits. You were thinking kindness. Which most people never see, but I think we can do this. I think should I just call him and kind of just talk a little shit? Just tell him, just make him feel more insecure about Ian. Is that is that even? I think you play full on bad cop. Right. I don't think you talk shit. I think you. Advocate. I just kind of ask him how he's feeling about that. How he no, feels about I say Ian. I say you advocate for his firing. <laughs> I say you act enraged. Remember what I told you? Remember what we talked about when we were filming the rent collection bit? Oh, it worked better when we came in yeah. all fire and brimstone. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a cut that's going to be up on Patreon. It didn't make the final video mm -hmm. where we went to an animal shelter and we were hesitant and trying to be logical about collecting this fake rent mm -hmm. from this fake overdue bill. The way to go in is just to go in and scream and swing yeah. your cane around. The same here. Call him up and be like, you know what? I think Ian's better than you. 
Oh, I like hanging out with him more. Like I the, want you the off last, the squad, the and I'll be like, no, yeah. no. All right, let's fucking do it, dude. And I won't feel bad, because I already told him today he's not fired. Danny was the good guy for once. I gotta get into character. This motherfucker. Better answer. He better fucking answer. Yell, Nico, you're fired. First thing. Right. Yell it. All right. You have reached the voicemail. Killing our radio show. <sighs> yes. You know who's in the hospital right now? Fan Jerry with kidney stones. What? Dude, that sucks. That means he's not drinking enough water, but there's other reasons. Wait, wait, wait. Might, wait, might wait, have been wait. some drug use. Leo. What? Mike's hard lemonades don't count as water? No. <sighs> Yeah, he's definitely not drinking enough water, man. Uh, That sucks. That's that's sort of like the the most painful thing ever. Most the closest thing to uh, childbirth apparently is passing a stone. They give him some pills. He's fine. They give him some pills. That's it. I don't know. I just made that up. I'm assuming so. No, what they do what they do is they they laser them uh, out. If they're not, if they haven't, if he didn't pass one, or if you passed one and then went and they saw more. Then they laser them, and then he, they still might pass them because they'll break off and like go through the and through anyway. But he's a little young to to be having that issue. He should definitely watch out. I thought I had kids, kidney stones one time, and then um, I went to the doctor. I don't drink I don't drink enough water too, but I, I drink more. I've been drinking a lot more. But yeah, I, that's uh, interesting to say the least. What do you mean to say the least? I just it's just it's just it's some that people say, Danny. All right. Okay. Okay. I just want to see where you're going with that. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? Are you, do you think I'm talking shit about Fangier? No, no, no. That's not what I thought. I would only talk shit about someone that's you know has a lot more going for them than me. Now I'm talking shit about Fangier. <laughs> it's fucked up. Fangier has a he makes more money than me, and he has a great channel that oftentimes gets more views than me. Does he actually make more money than you? I don't know. Nah, Through I, your I sugar bubble? I, I would say on the books he makes more money than me. 